Yo, what's up, guys? It's Aprix here, and this is the final win later folk version, which we'll be covering in a while. Because after this video, I'll be comparing all the folk versions of win later, including our today's win later A mode, win later C mode, win later Glipsy, win later Frost, and win later official. So before getting started, if you guys are new here, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notifications so you don't miss that video. Well, let's talk about the win later mode, which we'll be taking a look at in today's video. It is the win later AP mode, and it is supposed to be the best folk version of win later android but it has one downfall which i'll explain later on basically win later fp mode is very optimized windows emulator for android devices and a strong point is compatibility and features so what are we waiting for let's jump right into our today's video all right guys just like all the other win later folks out there win later a mode is also open source and available on its official github page you guys will be able to see that this is the downfall which I was speaking of. It is currently in Chinese. But don't worry guys, its English version is also available. I'll talk more about it later on in this video. And you'll be able to find all the details of this emulator on its official GitHub page. Now there are two versions of WinLater A mode which you can try out. The first one is the 7.1.2 Glipsy A mode. Which I'll personally try out in today's video because it has obviously Glipsy support. So the performance will be pretty amazing. The second one was released two days ago and it is the 7.1 P root A mode. Well, it's very experimental. I don't recommend it because it does not have Glipsy support. It has a lot of fixes such as even Resident Evil 8 fix which is pretty amazing but still performance is one of the major factors in Windows emulation for Android so you won't be able to compromise on that. You'll be able to see that the latest turnip drivers are available including revision 2 of 24.3.0. This is the most important feature add box 64 max CPU to speed up without performance mode. It basically means that you don't need to use the performance preset of box 64 and still get the best amount of fps even in unsupported games all right guys the next step will be to simply launch the win later a mode clip c and then tap on the allow button as usual it will start adding all the necessary assets a fun fact about win later a mode i think it was one of the first folk versions of win later android officially ever created and there we go all the assets have been loaded so we'll simply open the settings app Afterwards, you'll be able to see Box64 version, set it to 0.3.1, use the Box64 preset as performance. Now in today's video, we'll be testing out Assassin's Creed Unity as well. I'll duplicate the performance preset, edit it and set the safe flags level to 2 so that Assassin's Creed works. Dynamic forward, we'll set it at 1024 and yeah, let's tap on the OK button. Afterwards, choose the preset that we just created, tap on enter and we are done with the system settings of Evaluator A mode. You can also add the latest turnip driver by going into the content section afterwards going to the turnip section and adding the 24.0.3 revision 3 turnip driver for win later which is pretty useful in terms of providing better compatibility and performance so once that has been done we'll simply create our brand new container for that screen size set it to 960 by 544p wine version which win later a mode uses is the latest wine 9.2 custom so that's pretty useful let's select the latest turnip 24.3.0 revision 3 and afterwards in terms of DX wrapper make sure to choose the 2.4 async if you want to uh, try out Assassin's Creed Unity we'll also test out GTA 5 later on in this video so watch the video till the end audio driver will set it as pulse audio and in terms of video memory size set it to 4 GB select the box 64 preset as the latest performance preset that you just created startup selection option make sure to choose the third option then tap on the tick mark option once that has been done, we'll simply run our brand new container and that's about it. And once again, this emulator will be partially in English and partially in other language. So if you want full English version language, then I think it's available on Foxren, though I wouldn't recommend it to you guys because it's outside source. Anyways, if you tap on the button below, then you will be able to see there are a lot of fixes available including DirectX 12 fix and lot more. But these are all unnecessary and not really required. Uh, to play normal games so yeah we can skip over that part all right here we go we'll simply double tap on assassin's creed unity and let's open task manager to see if it is actually launching or not so yep it is actually launching because we set the safe flags level to 2 and there are no additional settings in this version of win later a mode glipsy version whereas if you try the win later p root version you will get lot more features and if you want me to cover that then do let me know in the comment section down below anyways let's wait and see if this game starts and no guys for some reason assassin's creed unity just crashed i have tested out this game behind the scenes with multiple emulators and none of them were able to run it so i think it is the fault of the version of game that i am running all right guys as assassin's creed unity did not work on my iq12 i have brought out my samsung galaxy tab s9 ultra to test out the gta 5 with rtx graphics which i have 
have on it. Previously, we tested it out on the normal Glipsy version of WinLater, and I am pretty sure that WinLater Glipsy A mode should give us a bit better performance than the normal WinLater Glipsy. Anyways, you will be able to see all the information at the top left corner. And yeah, compared to the settings that I showed you guys before, I have made few changes. For example, uh, I have set the safe flags level to zero in terms of our performance preset, and also we are using the DXVK version 2.3.1 instead of version 2.4 GPL Async. To start off, we'll be changing the aspect ratio because this is just running in a very small screen. So we'll go to graphics afterwards, set the resolution a bit higher, and change it to full screen. Let's set the resolution to 1280 by 800p because it's still not full screen. All right, I have finally fixed it. So we'll simply tap on the escape button and let's see how well will this game work on our Android device. So immediately you will be able to see that it is working pretty fine with almost 30 fps at the top left corner. We can use Quantv to increase our graphics performance even more so I'll set the motion blur level to 100%. Alright guys after doing some modification in graphics you will be able to see that now the game looks pretty amazing in terms of the resolution quality. I did not even test out this RTX graphics mode pack in 1280 by 1800p resolution which I am doing right now and still we are getting anywhere from 20 to 30 fps which is definitely more than what I was getting previously because if you see my RTX graphics gameplay video which I'll put on the iCard above you'll notice that I was only getting around 15 to 20 FPS in open world areas whereas here I am getting stable 20 to 30 FPS which is almost 10 FPS increase that's a huge performance bonus and if you are using the normal version of GTA 5 then you will definitely get even more performance I am pretty sure almost 60 FPS so do let me know in the comment section down below if you have tried out WinLater FA mode or not and I'll be uploading the ultimate comparison video of all versions of WinLater pretty soon so be sure to hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification I'll see you guys next time thanks for watching goodbye